Hi guys, I'm Maya and today's video is going to be an easy, quick, my go-to school routine for makeup. This doesn't really take that long, only about 10 minutes, it's so simple to do and if you want to find out how I do it, carry on watching. I'm trying out a new hairstyle, it's like the typical Zoella bun. Don't really know if it works on me, but let's roll with it. So first I'm gonna start up by priming my face with the typical L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base Primer as I have incredibly oily skin, and this works pretty well to keep all the oil at bay during the school day, so I use this. I really like this because it's a silicone base primer, so it fills in all my pores as well as priming it and making it less oily, which I really, really like. It also makes your skin like really, really super smooth. So to cover my dark circles, because I don't really sleep very well and I go to sleep very late on school nights, which I probably really shouldn't do, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in Light Ivory to hide my dark circles because I'm really pale and even though this isn't exactly any lighter than my skin shade, I think it's really good for doing my under eyes and it is one of the best concealers ever. It's a new discovery for me and it is awesome. And I'm just going to apply this all over my under eye. And I'm just gonna blend all of this concealer out, which, which, <laughs> and I'm just gonna blend all this concealer out with my new favorite, which is the Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush. Zoella actually does have this brush. It's one of her favorites for foundation, so you know, twinning. It's so soft. I only just got these brushes, and like, holy guacamole! I'm in love with them. Like, they're really pretty as well. Look at them. <laughs> now I actually look awake. <laughs> because most of the time I'm not awake at school, let's be honest. And then it's actually quite ironic that I didn't use this concealer for my under eyes, but to conceal blemishes on the rest of my face, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer. And this, I just use this because it's a perfect all-round concealer and it is the exact same shade as my skin tone, so I like to use it. This is in the shade Light. Basically conceal everybody. This concealer has always been a favourite of mine ever since I really started getting into makeup. Like in my really old videos, I used this in a few tutorials. And because that's a repurchase, because I just can't live without this concealer really. I'm having extreme breakouts right now and I don't really know why. It might be because I'm trying the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation and I'm not sure I'm going to buy that again because. If you see it in some of my videos, I look a bit orange, so yeah. To be honest, at the moment I have that many breakouts and everything, I'm like using this to act as a foundation. And of course my Rudolph nose. Who could forget ya? There we go, now I've concealed everything. So next to set all of my concealer and basically my base, I'm going to use my trusty I never go without this, to be honest. It is the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation in NW15 because I am a ghost. And this is just the perfect extra coverage setting powder that I love to use. And to be honest, I don't want to run out of this even though I'm nearly done. But I think I'm going to switch to the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder foundation because it's meant to be like a dupe. So I'm going to do that. Now my base is all done and my face currently looks two dimensional, I'm going to contour some areas of my face including my cheekbones with my sleek face form kit as per and the Zoeva 110 face shape brush which is perfect for the hollows of the cheeks. I already really like my cheekbones so contouring isn't that hard because they stand out quite a lot. I am blessed by the heavens to get good cheekbones. <laughs> and now I'm going to pop the tiniest little bit of highlighter from the same kit with the Zoeva once again 127 Lux Chia Cheek. Lux Chia Cheek Brush. <laughs> And to wrap up the cheek and structure thing area, I'm going to use my, whoa. I'm going to be using my new favorite, which, well not new favorite, it's kind of a staple favorite for me. It is the Natural Collection Blush Cheeks Blush in Sugar Plum. 
And this is just with an uh, Eco Tools brush that I've had for donkeys. <laughs> there we go, and now all the powder product has been on my face and it's all there. I'm going to set it with the Freedom Pro Studio Fixing Spray in Anti-Shine just to take away the powdery, pow, pow, powdery effect and to lock everything in place. Make yourself a drowned rat. <laughs> this smells so lovely as well. It's like you wouldn't expect it to smell lovely, but like if this was a perfume, I would, I would. So next I'm moving on to brows, which is becoming a staple for me because before I didn't really bother with my brows, but now I'm putting a lot more effort into them to make them on fleek. So for this, I'm going to use the Freedom Eyebrow Pomade in Ash Brown, which I have done a video for already like a review video and I will put a little card up here so you can go and watch it after you've watched this video and I'm going to apply it with my Tarte eyebrow brush my eyebrows are so bad at the minute can you see the difference between when it's done and when it's not done it's ridiculous Dearie me, I can't do eyebrows to save my life. And then I'm just going to pop a bit of mascara on my lashes and this is the Benefit They're Real Mascara. I do really, really like this mascara, but I don't think it really does its full potential if you don't have eyelash curlers. That's what I have found because I've lost my eyelash curlers and I'm currently grieving very heavily for them. <laughs> the mascara face is basically a turtle. I'm sorry I'm not talking that much when I'm doing my eyes, it's like concentration needs to be had when you're doing mascara. I think the eyelashes on one of my eyes is a lot longer than the other one, it's so odd. And the final step is to give my lips a little bit more colour and for this I'm going to use a sheer little bit of the Natural Collection Long Lasting Lipstick in Natural Beauty. Yeah, as you can tell by the name, it's very natural kind of my lips, but better colour, which is perfect for school. And that is it. This is my usual school routine. It normally takes me about 10 minutes or so, really not that long. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to me if you haven't already, and I will see you next time in my other videos. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.